YouTube and welcome back to another video here on my YouTube vlog. Um, I'm testing right now a solar frame version 1, street version, 60 millimeters. And after I skated really every metal frame on the market, and uh, I figured out that a lot of the frames are really garbage and bullshit because the common is just one drop an aluminium frame after Kyle Solar did it. And after I moved to Switzerland, I told myself, you have to try this Swiss knife. The Swiss precision in frame. So, I got a solar frame from a really good friend, and I'm really happy for that. And uh, right now I skate the solar with some 60mm Apex wheels, uh, aluminium core, the Merrimonas. I really love that wheels, they have a lot of grip, they are super fast. And in the middle, I skate some undercover wheels. Um, 60 millimeters, but they have like a bullet profile, really slim and 90A, so a little bit harder. Uh, I skated yesterday already a little bit, and, and I had one or two wheel bites, but not that the wheels touching the coping, it was more the wheels touching the top, the table, behind the coping. And uh, I had two or three quite bad slams because of that, but it worked all over. It worked really well. I really like the 50-50 prime frame, but because of the aluminium body, it's just on the outer wheels and you have with anti-rockers the feeling you're skating aluminium frame. You still have the feeling on the grind surface in the middle that you're skating a plastic frame. On the groove tricks, I can feel that. On the solar frame, the good thing is you have really little plastic age block, but a lot of aluminium surface around so that means the aluminium cannot really, I don't know how, they cannot bend and the, the plastic edge block cannot move into a band or something else. And that makes the plastic in an aluminium frame, if you have like all the frame aluminium and just a little plastic edge block, that makes this edge block so super fast because they press into aluminium. But if the whole body, the whole area here in the middle is plastic and just the outer part is aluminium, then it still feels like a plastic frame. So all in one, I really like aluminium frame when you have like a grind block that you can change. That makes you also a little bit more flexible when you want to skate a plastic edge block or aluminium edge block or alumide. You want to change the shape of the edge block like Kai Sola did already a couple of times. But all, that all together should not be a Sola frame review because they are plenty out and a lot of good reviews. But I figured out I have a version 1 H block and uh, there came a second version. So this H block have a little bit more wheel bite protection, a little bit deeper through, but not changing the angle and the feeling of skating as you did before. So and that's the point. I got an H block 2, the version 2 and I will try them out now because the version 1 works well, everyone know that and I want to see if an idiot like me who can't skate flat, can skate flat with a version 2 H block. So that's what we try out now. So if you're coming a little bit closer, you can see th this is the version 1 and this is the version 2. Can you see that so much deeper groove and so much more wheel bite protection. Check this out. And I'm really interested how that slides. Yesterday I locked in a couple of times here and the wheel touched, but we will see how this works. You can see this block looks out of the frame a little bit and if you change with the other block this is completely like the same height like the frame and I really really enjoy just one single crew, screw and you just change your age block even an unflexible old man like me can do that that's amazing does it roll faster I don't know it's an age block The Solar H Block version 2 slide like hell. It slides super fast, it locks really nice. The edge you have to break in a little bit 
sometimes when you when you go from the groove edge to the edge of the edge block it's getting a little bit slippery and faster but I think two minutes on a curve and it's gone but I can tell you this edge block makes so much fun I have not that big problem anymore to touch it with the wheels and the most of the times I had the problem if you look at here that the the wheels in the back touching on the coping but as you can see they not touching anymore and I'm really even when I go on the table the last wheel stop but the middle wheel don't touch and that's amazing because that's the perfect design for H block you will never touch again so in my opinion I I really want to try out the aluminium H block but with this H block I could be happy for it also I don't know exactly why but if I'm doing top side tricks it feels so much more comfortable and so much easier maybe it's the slimmer walls maybe it's a lower high because all the flat frames are a lot higher have a lot more beefier walls but if I think about my 50-50 prime frame it was also quite low frame but they had super beefy walls and every time when I make top so I had not that connection feeling with my frame that I do in the top side it was like a strange feeling but with a solar frame you go on and you don't even have that feeling you're skating aluminium frame it's just slight but it have a smooth slide and you feel the surface so it's not just fast like ice or something or butter on a hot plate you can really feel your grinds and I love it so I just enjoy this train now and I just will see what I can do today just trying some tricks and I can tell you I will try out this frame with this edge block a couple of more days before I make my decision but that feels already for me like I want to have this Joey Atkinson frame with 64 and 60 millimeters really